Good morning, good people. In the later years of the 18th century, the vicar of Maidley in Shropshire was the Reverend John Fletcher. The young clergyman won two remarkable distinctions. On Voltaire's return from a visit to England, he declared Fletcher to be the most Christ-like man in that country. And side by side with this, Mr. Wesley selected Fletcher as the man best fitted to succeed him in the leadership of the great revival. Mr. Wesley's dream never came true for the simple reason that although much the younger, Fletcher was the first to die. As he lay suffering from a malady which he had contracted by unremitting attendance upon his fever-stricken people, his soul was filled with ecstasy at the vastness and splendor of the love of God. When Mrs. Fletcher or the maid suggested some little delicacy or adjustment that might minister to his physical comfort, he had no ears for them. No, no, he cried, God is love, sing of it, shout of it, both of you. Towards the end, Mrs. Fletcher recited to him a verse of one of John Wesley's best-known translations. Mercy's full power I soon shall prove, loved with an everlasting love, while Jesus blood through earth and skies, mercy free, boundless mercy cries. The dying man caught at the word that harmonized most perfectly with the emotions of his heart. Boundless, he murmured, boundless, boundless, boundless. And still repeating to himself the word that opened to him vast vistas of his Savior's everlasting mercy, he entered into that life that is as boundless as the love that makes it ours. I want you this morning to pause a moment to reflect on that boundless mercy that makes it possible for you and for me to enter by way of the cross into the joy of the life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature and property is ever to have mercy and to forgive, receive our humble petitions. And though we be tied and bound with the chain of our sins, Yet let the pitifulness of thy great mercy loose us for the honor of Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen.